Education is the most powerful and proven vehicle for sustainable development. Since the launch of the Millennium Development Goals in 2000, there has been an enormous progress in achieving the target of the universal primary education. However, for Mila an eight-year-old from a remote village in Nepal, the story is different. Mila and her sisters, who were once enrolled in the only public school in her village, no longer attend school. They stay at home and help their parents with farming and household chores. What keeps Mila and sisters at home? High levels of poverty is the number one cause. Most families rely on basic farming to sustain their livelihoods, so they cannot afford to pay for their children's education, which is free only till primary level. The other reasons are conservative cultural and gender norms, social exclusions based on caste class systems, lack of good infrastructure, standard curriculum, trained teachers and natural disasters like the 2015 earthquake. There are many villages like Mila's, poor and plagued by conventional patriarchal norms that exclude women and lower caste groups to attain education. Also, the failure of the government to allocate enough budget on infrastructure, transportation and education compels children to make precarious journeys on dangerous roads to get to their schools where a good quality education is lacking. Natural calamities just add to the despair. But on the bright side, there is hope for Mila and her sisters. First and foremost, it is essential to create an equal and just society where people from all walks of life are treated impartially, this can be achieved through policy amendments and awareness programs. Next, the government should provide free education in all public schools till the 12th grade, so that girls like Mila can also go to school with their brothers. Plus, there is a need for well-trained instructors, good teaching materials and a standard curriculum. Teachers must adopt practical teaching methods and create a fun learning environment for students. Likewise, reliable transport services and good infrastructures are necessary, while free lunch provision and incentives like remedial educational courses to struggling students before or after school hours could be very beneficial. Despite global efforts to improve the education sector, in countries like Nepal, the school dropout rate is still high. Education in this part of the world is not only important to eradicate poverty and illiteracy, but also to change flawed social, cultural and political norms. With combined efforts from the international change makers, the government and local communities, we can help children like Mila to have access to quality education to learn and get the skills they need to lead their countries and live productive and fulfilling lives. Education is not a privilege, it is a human right, 